Hello, my friends, and welcome, 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 and, or should I say, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I have been watching the whole drizzle, drizzle debacle, and it's just been the most hilarious thing that I've watched recently on, online, I'm telling you guys. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it is men pushing back on the absurdity of female demands in today's modern society. And it's simply this. Hey, it's 2024, and if the women want their soft girl era in 2023, hey, the guys, we want our soft guy era in 2024. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> I feel so stupid saying it. <laughs> Oh, I got to remember my grown ass man. But you know what? I love it. I love the whole movement because it really shows how stupid this whole sprinkle, sprinkle debacle has become. And, and you know what the craziest thing about the internet is that all it takes is one person to spark something. That's it. One person. The influence of one individual, then it get caught by a big channel and all of a sudden, it becomes the thing. And it could change a whole society. It could change a whole narrative on any subject. Hey, Hitler was one guy, one voice back in the day. Donald Trump became one of the most well-known presidents in the world. Not because he started any wars, but because, because of this, his mouth. So we got to understand the power of that. And this is what I've been telling men. I've been encouraging men. Say, listen, you got to fight back. Otherwise, we're going to lose. And these two guys started it on TikTok. And it has now exploded where men are saying, you know what, woman, you're damn stupid. We want our soft guy error. Drizzle, drizzle. Let's listen to the originators of this whole movement first. For, for those of us older dudes that don't follow this shit. Because my wife have no idea what this is. No one in my family knows what it is. When I say drizzle, drizzle, soft guy air, they're looking at me like I'm special, as my daughters put it. All right, so let's listen to the guys. If you don't know what the soft guy era is, or you just simply hate the soft guy era, this video is for you. Shout out to my fellow Mark, Mark Pillard, for dropping a slideshow on Instagram explaining what this is. So if you didn't know, me and my brother Goody started the soft guy era a few weeks ago, and it's going viral. We have been wreaking havoc on the internet, and so have the rest of y'all. We love the support. Keep dropping y'all videos. Let's keep making them mad. So now we're going into detail on what this is. The idea. Men in their soft guy era want to find high-value women who can take care of them in ridiculous ways. Yes, we do. They want us to have money. I want my woman to have money as well. It's only right. Drizzle, drizzle. The soft guy era is a response to the soft girl era of 2023. It mocks videos in which women demand ridiculous things from men. It twists a mnemonic device from YouTuber Letitia Pude, a.k.a. the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady. It's a supervision of alpha male content. And then here's the kicker, and this is what they don't like. The four points. Women say they want equality, but then some demand the most unequal situations from men. And this includes men paying all the bills but the woman is making money as well but she doesn't want to come out of pocket because she's a woman right doesn't make sense that doesn't sound equal to me now we're going to go down to insight if men acted like this they'd be laughed out the room see now when women are hearing these things they're like oh this is ridiculous no way you want a mom you want you want a parent you want to you want a man no we just want what you guys want from us in return now on to the advantage men believe they bring a lot to the table so maybe they are now the table see a lot of men don't realize they are the table if a man is paying all the bills sir you are the table you're providing for a woman and your children you are the table but a lot of men don't realize who they are so they really don't know they've been manipulated into living old-fashioned ways that shit is over and it's dead these women get money now it's time to spend that money now and contribute and work as a team eve was made to be a helpmate to adam let's not play now the strategy show how outrageous it is when men demand to be provided for in the same equality we all know being a provider in 2024 is a scam so we don't care so we're not doing that anymore we know that's old-fashioned these women got money these women are working so they need to contribute we want a helpmate yeah yes 
I love this movement. I love this idea. And that's why I'm making this particular video because I want all of my subscribers who are men to support this movement because this whole 666 bullshit that women have been pushing. I want a man that's six figures. I want a man that's six feet tall. I want a man with a six inch disc. I want a six pack. They're unrealistic standards. And men have been demonized. Men have been told that they broke. They're, they're dusty if they cannot provide these things for a woman. But what does a woman do in return? Oh, she just comes with a shitload of baby daddies, high body count, whatever. She's not spending her money. And if the man makes 85000 if the man makes 99000 and don't want to spend that money on her, he's dusty. He's broke. If he's not doing that, sprinkle, sprinkle. The bloody woman that made this whole thing become famous, making women think that, oh, they deserve that from a man. These unrealistic expectations, men have just gotten fed up. So, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> so, the women are going nuts now because men are putting their foot down. I don't know any of you all, but now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era, this drizzle, drizzle movement, right? Listen, any man that's comfortable with the woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you'll do the same with a man. Oh, brother. Now, come on, auntie. You know better than this. After all these videos you didn't seen on TikTok, this is what you came up with? Look, people like what they like. That's cool. But for me, I love women from head to toe, always and forever. If a woman want to go in that purse and pay for me, I'm going to let her do it. Now, will I let her struggle? Nah, I won't. Like I said before, I'm far from a stingy man. But why would I rob a woman of having the ability to invest in me? I don't care what nobody say. If he wanted to, he would. But if she wanted to, she would. I've always been about respect for women, showing love to women, because I came from a woman. But one thing I am not going to let slide is y'all trying to make men feel bad for wanting reciprocation from women. Hell no. I don't need a woman to chase me. I don't need a woman to fake the funk. But baby, if you want me, come and show me. But I will reciprocate. As a man that grew up doing so much for women, only to get nothing back, baby, that discernment has told me if she ain't trying to show me what she working with, then she's not the one for me. I cannot speak for all men. As a man, I have no problem with providing and leading the way. But if my woman is not my helpmate, if she would rather me sit there and work my ass off and watch me struggle in the process, that is not my woman. That is not a woman that loves me. That is a woman that simply wants to be taken care of. But when you really love something or someone, you take care of it and it takes care of you. I ain't with none of that one-sided love. Y'all can get mad at the soft guy era, whatever you want to call it. But moving forward in my life, if you're not showing me that you love me, if you're not willing to invest in me, if you only expect me to do everything for you, that entitlement is going to get you left every single time. Because you may think you're the prize. And I don't even have a problem with that. But with or without you, I'm just as great. And the right women that get it, get it. And the men that receive reciprocation for the things that they do, get it as well. This ain't no gender war. The fellas just want a woman that's going to reciprocate. And those women are out there. And for the women that feel entitled, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. Oh, that brother just brought it home. Oh, that was silky. I love a brother that's well-spoken, can deliver a message without the insults, without the, 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 I don't want to say the word, the ghetto speech, without the, I love when a brother can just lay down knowledge, explain himself with pure wisdom. You got to listen to that again, ladies, if you don't get it listen to it because you all are losing listen ladies dating is an international business do you understand that international business where you cannot compete internationally a man can get up and he can go to the philippines he can go to thailand he can go to latin america he can go to the middle east he can go all over the world and find a woman. You are stuck with the men that you have within your geography. And if you cannot negotiate with a man within your geography, 
you are going to be alone. This whole sprinkle sprinkle movement have made you guys stupid. And this is the only way that men can actually bring awareness to your stupidity. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. Of course, it's not all of you that are doing this. But the percentage of you that are doing it have literally poisoned the dating market. Listen, if I have a bucket of water, right? And I put two drops of poison in there. The poison don't have to equal the amount of water that's in the bucket to destroy the water. You get my point? I hope that's, a, that's the best analogy I can give you. The poison itself makes the rest of the water useless. That's what's happening. A lot of women don't realize that until it's too late. Their 30s and their 40s and they realize, holy shit, I can't have a kid. My job, I hate it. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I'm sick of doing this alone. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly scared and I'm constantly irritated. For what? Because I don't have a man. I just got off the phone with someone I was seeing and she asked me how my day was going and I explained I was at the airport. And then she said, I'm glad you got there safe. And I said, yeah, I had to take an Uber. I had to block her. I mean, she was great and everything. She was emotionally intelligent, always paid for dinner, pretty much catered to my every need. But if you hear I'm taking an Uber to the airport and your first move is not to open up Venmo and send me money, are you even a real woman? And then you find out I'm on a commercial flight and you don't immediately charter me a private jet. I know my worth drizzle drizzle. I'm in my soft guy era. I want to be pampered. And if you're broke, just say that. And I'm sure later she'll come around looking for some sugar, but this sugar don't mix without drizzle. <laughs> oh, that, that is funny. Oh, man. So these are the videos that are making the rounds, just showing women how absurd their demands are. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh. And of course, a lot of podcasts are catching on and catching up with this. Let me read some of the comments. Sup Daily said, this trend is hilarious. Yes. <laughs> of course, the women are pissed. She goes, there's a woman out there for you, and her name is Chris Jenner. Ha ha ha. Laughing. Crying. Of course, women are salty about the men coming up with these videos. And what, what's the first thing they're going to try to do? They're going to try to shame the guy now to tell him that, oh, he's gay. Yep. Ah, oh, man. It's going to get ugly. <laughs> See, another woman going to start to shame him. Sandy says, you don't need a woman, sir. You need a man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh man one of the OGs came back Greg says I'm old had to look up what drizzle drizzle meant <laughs> uh, 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 Stephen said don't forget fellas you're single till she puts a ring on it <laughs> oh man oh gosh uh, this guy says a household needs Two incomes. That's why my girl works two jobs. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> oh, man, this is hilarious. Ah, oh, man. This woman here, Adida J, says, Hey, drizzle, drizzle, come let mama pamper you. <laughs> yeah, that's how desperate a lot of women are getting at this point. Because passport bros, men going their own way, and men just saying, nah, not doing it. A lot of women are getting desperate. Yeah, she's saying, yeah, drizzle, drizzle, come let mama pump you. Oh. This guy says, if she can't understand my feelings and needs, she doesn't deserve to be in my life. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Dear men. Era. <laughs> is older men... Oh. Who have decided that they are going to hold women to that same standard. So if a woman doesn't make X amount of income, mm -hmm. they won't speak to them. If a woman <laughs> won't pay for the first date, I would be okay. They're not speaking with them. Oh, oh right his God. ass off. But, uh, <laughs> so women want to get it. paid or taken care of oh, or be sugar on. babies what? and want a sugar daddy in the soft guy era. <laughs> we want some of that, too. It's disgusting. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. <gasps> sprinkle, sprinkle, baby. You see, that's disgusting. 
Think about what she just said. Just listen to the undertones. It's disgusting when a man wants something back from a woman. But it's quite normal when the woman sucks the man dry. Women are supposed to be the strong and independent, the boss bees, and they're making more money, and they have the college degrees, and they're supposed to be making it. But the man still have to pull six figures. He has to be the top dude for her to give him a chance. And she don't want to spend any money. Make that shit make sense. Drizzle drizzle means I'm too broke to make it rain. Drizzle drizzle means I already bought these $100,000 geodes, so I know I'm good. I need you to drizzle to step up to show me you're equal. Drizzle drizzle means I'm in my soft guy era. I'm tanking my $9,000 Fujifilm camera and traveling the world to do photography. And if you can't fund that to help me start my art gallery, then you're not a good person, drizzle drizzle. Because what kind of girl who claims to be a woman doesn't love art enough to support his man as he starts an art gallery? Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle means support me. This is one of my newest Airbnbs. Prove to me that you're not broke and book this property for a week. Fly out to Dallas and show me that you're not a brokey and that you are my equal, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle means buy me another one of these to show me you appreciate the same kind of art that I appreciate, drizzle, drizzle. But you know what drizzle drizzle really means? It means that I should not have to ask. You should be able to feel my energy. If I have to ask, I don't want it. If you wanted to, you would. Drizzle drizzle means that if you're broke, don't even reply to this video. This is a non-broke conversation, drizzle drizzle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta almost laugh how comical it is. But women took this shit serious. They were literally applying these rules to men until men said, are you ridiculous? Are you that ridiculous? And you, if you think women weren't taking this shit serious, let's read a few comments from that video because some of them are hilarious. Gail Fisher says, it also means that no amount of money can buy class. Ah, there's that little poke at the man. And the man, somebody came back at her and said, if you're broke, just say that, dusty girl. <laughs> Standard female response. Now the men are doing it. Oh, uh, Jordan Barnett said, they just don't get it. It's a gigantic mirror and they can't see it. They can't see it because it hits them way too personally. You see, women never take accountability. Accountability and responsibility, guys. You know how it works. Women never take accountability. Brenda says, I'm broke, but I love the drizzle drizzle movement. I am so happy to see men standing up for themselves. Yeah, and this is why I always tell you guys, man, if you all not ready to fight back at these things, if you're not ready to stand up and to make your vote count when it comes to paternity fraud, to alimony payments, to outrageous child support, if you're not standing up and saying enough is enough in a group, because that's what women do. Women just go out in the street and start screaming with signs. If we're not willing to do all of these things to get laws changed back in favor of equality, you notice I didn't say in favor of men, you know, I said in favor of equality, then the laws will always be written against men because women are out there screaming, Oh, I need to be taken care of. <laughs> and of course, politicians will, will, will uh, stand up for them. But men run societies. We can literally bring society to a halt. All we need to do is stop working. Like what they're doing in France when the farmers are being treated unfairly. They literally just block the roads with all of their tractors and stop producing food. Guess what? Country comes to a standstill. Yeah. I'm not advocating any wars or advocating any social discourse, guys. I, I don't want to get demonetized. All I'm basically saying is that we do have power in numbers. That's all. Okay? Lisa said, I aspire to give my husband his drizzle drizzle. When is my wife doing any drizzle drizzle? Baby... Am I getting any drizzle drizzle? Oh, she's not answering. She's not listening. Of course, it's the only time she's not going to listen, right? <laughs> this girl says, I'm so confused by all this thing. It has to be satire, right? <laughs> uh, somebody responded, we are dead serious. No more broke, dusty woman thinking we pay for everything. Yeah. <laughs> David says, if you're broke, we don't poke. 
Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny. All right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay? At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. This is a beautiful, I know she's married, beautiful lady. She get it 100%. Let's see how the guys are enjoying some of this. This is great. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that these dudes kicked off the soft guy era. I support the movement 100%. Just look at this. You see, men like to be pampered too, just like we do. The joy it brings me to see these beautiful women taking care of their men. And I especially love those little kisses in between. So sweet. So, so sweet. Oh, I gotta go and show this to my wife. Make her aware of the soft guy era. I know the pushback I'm gonna get. I'm already doing 50. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh man, it's hilarious. Uh, of course, a little pushback. Ruth Ann said, only provider man deserves this, like my man. Ooh, somebody had to show the fact that she does have a man. Good on you, girl. I hope you're giving him his soft guy era as well. Big Ben says, honestly, a man who provides, protects, loves, and cares deserves all of these and a lot more. Drizzle, drizzle, kings. <laughs> Crammy said, this is the bare minimum. Slay, king. <laughs> Esther says, just praying to get one who I can pamper as well and who really deserves it. Yeah, this is the thing. You, 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 man, there are so many women, especially black women that are single, who are desperate for a good man. I hope this is something that will kick off so that you ladies can reboot your brain and reboot the way you think about men, especially in the black community. Matt Wilson says, if she can't handle me at my softest, she doesn't deserve me at my hardest. <laughs> oh, this drizzle drizzle shit has me weak. <laughs> weak. Like, and I've said it before, I am not pro man and I am not pro woman. I am pro common sense. So shout out to Mark, shout out to Goody, Jeff, all them boys, the SGE, the soft guy era. Now, while I do think we need to leave some stuff to women, let them have their fun sometimes. That don't mean this shit's not fucking hilarious. I think it's so funny because it's clearly satire. <laughs> it's clearly satirical in nature. But a lot of women are taking it serious. Because these guys are only saying the stuff women on this app have been saying in reverse. You know, the whole, uh, if you broke, just say that. Protecting, providing. You know what I'm saying? Men used to go die in wars. All that stupid ass shit, right? Now, my challenge is if y'all are saying that it sounds fucking ridiculous coming out of a man's mouth and men and women are equal, then should it not sound fucking ridiculous coming out of a woman's mouth? Men and women are of course it does sound bloody ridiculous when it comes out of a woman's mouth. But women just won't deal with it because too many women jumped on the bandwagon and they felt that they had power in numbers to shift men's opinion into thinking that they're all that. Yeah, I got four baby daddies. Yeah, I got 300 body count. Yep, yeah, I'm fat as a bloody pig. 
I'm overweight. Yep, I can't run 10 steps, but you got to love me and I, you better be making six figures and you better be six feet tall and you better, better, better and you better and I'm a queen and you deserve me and you blah, blah, blah. It's like vomit coming out of somebody's mouth. Men saying, you know what? Ah, no, I don't have to deal with this crap. Now we're going to make you hear how stupid you sound to break up with my girlfriend of six years due to a major ick don't get it twisted she was a great woman she cooked for me she cleaned for me she packed my lunch every day in the morning she texted me very frequently asking me how i was doing but let me tell you what happened yesterday there's these wheels i really been wanting for my car so i texted her i was like hey babe i'm about to buy these wheels i showed her them she texted me back she said i really like them babe you should get them the audacity to tell me to purchase them when you know that I want them. Now that was the major ick. As a woman, as somebody who's supposed to be a supporter and a provider, why are you not sending me money for the wheels I want for my car? I you right, King. Why the hell didn't she send you money for those? The second she you said that you were trying to buy some wheels for your car, she should have immediately, immediately cash up you three, four hundred dollars. What kind of woman you? <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Let's listen to what else he has to say. Shouldn't need to pay for anything. Her money is our money and my money is my money. And fellas, this just goes to show if you're with a woman, the least she could do is pay for your car parts. When women really like you, they pay for everything. If she wanted to, she would. So on that note, I'm done settling for the bare minimum. I need a strong, independent woman to come into my life and support me and provide for me like a real woman should. Oh. This woman, Bridget, says, if this actually goes out of hand to reality, we doomed, barbecued, roasted, doomed, name it. <laughs> Listen, I think that unless women change their behavior, men just aren't going to deal with you all, period. It's not going to go anywhere real. The bottom line is, is that men are showing you how ridiculous you sound, trying to bring you back in line with, with actual logic. That's all. Angel... Bobby said, huh? Is this real? Ain't no way he's serious. <laughs> uh, ref said, I'm shaking. I'm shaking while watching this. Broken hearted. I'm sorry, King. <laughs> you don't deserve this. <laughs> uh, the guy at the end, of course, taking the piss, right? Uh. Drizzle, drizzle. A lot of y'all girls are clearly showing you have no sense of humor. The joke is going right over your head. The fact is that y'all have been saying the same ridiculous stuff online. And when you say it as a woman, you don't see nothing wrong with it. But hearing those same ridiculous statements come out of a man's mouth. Now, all of a sudden, you take him back and you offend it. It's 2024 and I honestly don't understand whether or not you're a woman or a man. Why anybody would not be living a soft life. I don't know why anybody would be aspiring for a hard one. <laughs> like, make it make sense. It's called a partnership for a reason. Because two people are supposed to be coming together so that they can do for one another equally. You pour into their cup just like they pour into yours. But y'all turn this into a selfish act of you trying to gain something from somebody else and benefit from somebody else. Meanwhile, not caring what they get in return from you. And as long as you're going into a situation like that, you will always lose because you cannot use people like that. You cannot go into a situation and only thinking about the ways that you can benefit from it and neglect the other person involved in it. At the end of the day, if the girls want to sprinkle, sprinkle, the fellas can drizzle, drizzle. I'm pro everybody being in a soft life era because there's no reason why you should be living a hard life. I don't recommend that for anybody. <laughs> Stress is the number one killer. I don't recommend anybody to be out here intentionally living a hard life. I don't subscribe to anybody getting with a person who's going to make life hard on them. Right? You could do all bad by yourself. Why in the world would you enter into a relationship with somebody who's going to put you through a hard life? Doesn't make sense. Date wisely. Drizzle, drizzle. And this is the point. This is the simple point. This beautiful lady brought it home nicely the reality of it is is that the unfair request from women who are asking men to not just just exist and she bring her share he brings his share and they come together and build together the way it was in the past that's all men are, were asking for men weren't asking for anything that's the way it should be that's what my wife and i are doing okay 
the point is, man, is that the unrealistic expectations got too far. And I'm going to end it with this one video that shows how far women went. Because it's ridiculous. This woman invites this man out to a restaurant. And this is what happens when the bill comes. She ordered a hell of a lot of food. She invited him. This is what happened. All right, so let me get this straight. You invited me out to come to eat. And that was not even my idea. That was your idea, right? Okay, and the problem is? And I'm offering to pay half, but you want me to pay the whole thing? I'm the woman. I shouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah, I invited you out because I wanted to go out. That doesn't mean I have to pay. No, no, this was your idea. Actually, I don't even have to be a gentleman to pay half of it. Because you, you're gonna pay it all. But this was your idea to come out. You're the one that invited me out. And you're the man, so you have to pay the bill. Says who? Says me, what do you mean? In what book is that written in? It doesn't have to be written, that's just a rule. This is my card right here. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna pay half of the bill. How much is it? You, you, you Hold pay, on. You pay, you pay the whole bill or you sleep on the couch. And 300 and... You pay the whole bill or you sleep on the couch. I ain't even trying to go to your house. I'm trying to go home. How about I'll, that? I'm going to take your motherfucking ass home though, but you're still paying this damn bill. $320 and I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to pay half of it. And you telling me to pay the whole thing? Yeah. When he was your idea to take me out? Yeah. Because of what again? Because you're the man and you're responsible for the bill. I'm about to take my goddamn card back in my wallet because it's some bullshit right there. I guess See, you're going to be This is why dishes. I'm trying to tell motherfuckers, man. I guess you're going to be washing listen. dishes then. Because I'm leaving. Who washing dishes? You. Where? Shit. You're the one that was ordering all this shit. See all this shit over here? You're the one that was ordering all that shit. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your problem, not mine. And I'm still trying to offer, I'm going to pay half of it. Are you going to pay half? No. I ain't paying <clears throat> Excuse me, time to go. Time to go where? I'm, I'm putting my car in my back in my wall. What the fuck? Well, I guess you, you're going to call the police. Call the police on who? On you. It was your idea. you the one that... Do you want to that? You see all these fucking plates? Do you have proof of that? Fuck out of here. I'm... I don't even know what the fuck. Yo, see, this is the bullshit I'm always talking about. Women think because you're the man, you got to pay for it. But they want to be independent black women, right? You're independent. Why don't you pay for the shit? Don't come for me. Yeah, she's paying for it. Okay. She's paying. You're making she's her She's definitely paying for the whole thing. You're making her pay? Yep. She is. Right. What, what, do you, what do you mean it's not right? It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. You could split That waitress was way out of order. Why would she interfere with who's paying the bill? I don't know whether this is a skit because this audio is really good on this phone for both people. So I'm a bit skeptical about whether it's a skit or not. But it's pretty real to me. These guys would have to be really good actors to pull this off. But this video has been going quite viral because it shows you the inequality to be between how males and females are perceived when it comes to bills. Oh, she can invite him out because she's hungry, right? She needs food. She racks up a massive bill because she don't have any responsibility for paying it in her head. And then she dumps it on the man. $320 at Applebee's? That's ridiculous, man. That's a shitload of money. That's almost fine dining restaurant food for, for a two course. And now she wants the man to pay the full thing because he's a man. And now he pushed back. And he should. Because this is the standard that women want from men. But yet, they're always boasting about how well they're doing. So they want a pack mule, a servant. A guy that just worked for them for, so that they could have a soft life. But he must work his ass to the bone in order to provide that life for them. But yet, we live in an era where it's supposed to be equality. Make that shit make sense. So gentlemen, I say kudos to you. Drizzle, drizzle. 
And with that, my friends, I'm going to cut this one short because this is too hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video on the way out. Of course, if you want to book a session with me, please do so by going over to askanolderman.com. All right, guys. So until tomorrow, have a great one. And remember, whenever in doubt, always, always ask an older man. I'll see you soon. Cheers.